So it is June the 29th, and it is time for an an uh. So it's June 29th, and it is time for an echinacea update. And thunder. Yeah, we're going to have a thunderstorm, so I just want to get this on video before it rains. But yeah, this is looking so pretty. Now, show, I showed you um, what the ball looked like last time, and it's opened up. And the really cool thing is that it starts off with these really awesome yellow leaves. I was really surprised to see that it was, um, the tips of them are, are very yellow. Better sunlight would be great, but we'll update them when they're all opening. And there's more thunder. But they are so pretty as they're opening up. That yellow and the different color greens in there. And there's... It's very purple towards the middle and then really yellow on the, uh, on the tips of this. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to see more. So there's that little one that's just going to open up real soon. The wind is picking up. It looks like these guys are going to get little heads as well. These little side shoots. And I just decided to leave them on instead of plucking them. And there's one there. Oh, I'm jumping. Sorry. There's another one there. So hopefully we'll get a couple of really gorgeous flowers out of this. So I will do another update um, when I see that this has gotten a little more purple or the other ones have bloomed. I'll keep you posted. Oh, I've got something else that's really cool I want to show you. Oh, the storm's coming in from that way. Do you see the rain coming down? Hopefully there's no lightning. Our hills are really dry right now. Okay, so this plant here is really cool. This is what I want to show you. This is a curry plant and it grows like crazy. And I think this one is three or four years old. JT grows it in his garden. But these beautiful sprigs just smell like a nice aromatic gentle curry. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love cooking with it. I add it to so many different things. It takes a long time for them to dry out, but they do dry out. But this awesome curry plant now has flower blooms on it. So we've got a lovely assortment of bright yellow gorgeous flowers and they've started opening. I don't have my tripod, sorry guys. But these little yellow flowers here are a million percent more aromatic than the plant is. I've been smelling this for a few days and I've, it's making me hungry for like coconut chicken. Yeah. Anyways, um, these flowers are so stinking fragrant, it's making our neighborhood smell yummy. So yeah, these, these flowers are amazing. Their scent is a nice, soft curry, mm, make you hungry scent. So that's really cool. This is what I wanted to share with you. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time out in the garden. Oh, there's more thunder.